All right, see you, man. What'd he say? Well, he said if the engine runs good and the transmission is good, he figures it's worth a few grand. Oh, okay. But that begs the question, what if it don't run good? It's worth what it weighs, I guess. <laughs> the price of scrap. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we need to figure out if it's going to run or not then. Yeah. Well, when you drive it across the scales or have to turn it across the scales. <laughs> That's right. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. How about you? Doing good. Yeah. How about you? Dude, I'm, I'm living the dream. Hey, that's true. Yeah. Hey, me and Wiley are at this 1981 GMC Astro Cab Over. Uh, I think it's got a big cam 300 in it, but we're going to research that here in a minute. So we're going to see if we can't get this thing started. What we like to do is we like to, A, we like to go investigate if engines are worth buying or if the whole rig is worth buying and then seeing if we can either get them for a deal and then flip them to someone who needs those engines or whatever the case. Or if they don't, then you know let the owner know that they're better off scrapping the vehicle or whatever the case may be. So those are some of the things that we, we're gonna try to do in this video. We're gonna try to find out if it's A, worth selling or B, worth scrapping. So I got a question for you guys. Have you guys ever went out and cranked up an old engine like this and that's one that's been set for years? Don't know how long this one's been setting, but I assume it's been a, a while. They got goats or something out here because the grass yeah. ain't grown up around it. It is clean. It's clean, but uh, it has been setting a while. A lot of this stuff has been setting a while. So have you guys ever went out and cranked up some old, old stuff like this and try to save it, you know, because that's, Listen, you guys are just like us, right? You hate to see things go to the scrapyard, right. you know? It's kind of like Wiley, right? The older he gets, you kind of want to save the guy, you know? But... Save the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show you a little bit about the truck. 1981 GMC Astro. I'm not going to make this up. I'm telling you, Wiley. You won't believe name it. Name Name. Crestology. Crestology. So Wiley had a Crestology. Wiley has a Crestology. Wiley has a Crestology. Feel the weight of that. I, yeah, I felt it when it, yeah. Hey, put it next to camera, see if they can feel the weight. <laughs> can y'all feel that? Give me a like if you can feel the weight of that. Thanks, <laughs> heavy, what? Yeah. <laughs> Golly, Wiley. <laughs> got clean batteries in it. I don't know if they're <laughs> new or not, but they, I mean, they're not dirty. We'll find out they got some sparkage, but they, they bring, um, they bring batteries out to crank up some of their equipment anyway. So that's why you'll see some clean batteries. Let's, let's take a look inside. Wiley's got an old five by two box out here. <laughs> like a king size bed on the highway. All right, so here it's got three. Uh, oh yeah, who knows what this has. Oh, it's got hours. It's got uh, 39. 164 hours and then for mileage it's got 460,358 again 1981 gmc astro got your trailer brakes your all your gauges are over here it's a 12 volt system need a lot of amps you, you you run your batteries in parallel on these type of tractors eat fuller in it got you a know, on, on these cab overs if you wreck you're the first one there oh yeah <laughs> you doggone right well you're looking down at the ground what i'm saying remember your blinker signals up there damn this thing is awesome dude y'all should smell it i wish i had smell a vision this that'd be awesome if y'all could smell this thing i don't know about that <laughs> all right let's look in here it is a cummins for sure i want to say it's a big cam 300. i'm gonna say it's a 350 at least if it's this newer model you think yeah hank chevrolet made a cab over also. Did they? It wasn't called the Astro. Let the the audience tell us what that cab over was. Oh, okay. It was identical to this, but Chevrolet made okay. it. Okay, it was the Chevrolet twin sister of the GMC Astro. This one's coming out of Auburndale, Florida. Sugarcane products. Is Delta Tank Line still in business? I don't know if they are. We no. found your Astro. <laughs> if you're missing an Astro, we found it for you. Wiley, what's the rear end on that thing? Well, I don't know exactly what the rears are. The suspension's Rayco. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot that's of what I meant to, to say. Had the Hendrickson suspension. You know, it sits in the middle. Look at there. This thing's making money. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a nickel on there. Too bad it's a wooden nickel. I can't bend over. When I get under there, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Rayco. There it says it on the shackles there, or hanger. I guess that's the hanger versus the shackle. Let's check the fuel in it, Wiley. Let's do. I thought we was checking fuel. We are. You got to get the fuel checker. Oh, <laughs> the official. Oh. The official Hamiltonville Farm fuel check. The... Careful, man. That thing's that barbed wire. If you ever run in front of the popo, throw a blanket over that before you jump over barbed wire. Well, if you ain't got a blanket with you. Well, you'd stop and get one. <laughs> you should have brought it from the cot you had in prison. You know what I mean? 
I wonder if they still do wool blankets where the where the guys are locked up. Uh, I see it, Hank, but they've got a. Oh yeah. This is a newer model. That's right. It's got the the, the anti theft devices. Yeah, you can't siphon out of that, can you? No. Well, that's a good welder to get under there and weld it and get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Can Not you stick good. that thing through there? Oh, you saw the fuel. Hank. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, get us smaller a smaller sticker, one. I guess. Well, let's go this way. All right, go from the top. This first time we had a reversible. See, the good thing is it's reversible. <laughs> That's right. This first time I ever had to, it's like putting oil stick back in. Yeah, no kidding, right? Oh, oh that. man, that thing's making fuel. Yeah, buddy. Seven years, three months, two weeks, eight days. What was the cost per gallon? Can you tell by the smell? Yeah, it was a little over a dollar. Yeah. Wiley, let's, let's tilt this cab and so we have access to work on it. Oh, somebody has robbed a cab jack. I'm not a smart man, but I know what those hoses go to. Dang. It would have made it a lot easier. I don't know right it would have. Let's see if this has got the anti-theft device on it. No. It ain't drawn from that tank, though. It always draws from this side. You're right, it does. It draws from that side first. Yeah. That was a joke, Wiley, with my great sense of humor. Oh. I wonder if we got like a forklift or something we can access. I wonder where the engine oil's at. My gosh. Golly, that thing's eight foot long. <laughs> that thing's making oil, right? Yes, sir. Look at that. Perfect. We need to borrow this. To check fuel with? Che no, check, <laughs> <laughs> check the oil with the ones that's low. It'll, re it'll get that all the way. That's right. If it's too full, you need to cut it off. If it's too long, you need to add to it. Add water is what you said, wasn't it? That's right. Let's see if this one pops. Somebody said in the comments, that if you have pressure like that, it indicates a bad head. I don't believe that. We did a, a radiator cap one time and it, we opened it and the pressure came out and someone made a comment in the comment section that that indicates a bad head gasket or a blown head or something, I can't remember. I was like, mm, I'm not sure I agree with that statement at all. But maybe, I mean, you know, I'm not a mechanic, but I do hang out with Wiley. <laughs> I did stay in the Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night. So the oil's good, water's good. Let me see if we can take his breather off and get it. I'm telling you right now, Wiley, we're gonna need to take that breather off. Let me get the voltmeter and see if these are any good. I get it. While Wiley is getting the voltmeter, leave a comment if you have driven a GMC Astro, maybe even an 81 model. Tell me how many miles you've got in them. Now, I know there's a lot of truckers that are watching this that have a lot of miles, a lot of seat time, you know? So if you've driven an 81 GMC Astro, let me know how many miles you got in it. Let me know what you were hauling. That would be pretty cool. This one, obviously, it was a tanker. It was pulling, you know, some type of chemicals or fertilizer or something. It says sugar cane. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. So maybe fertilizer of some sort or actual, um, you know what I'm trying to say. So <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you've driven this and, and what you pulled with it, how many miles you got. That'd be pretty interesting to read your comments about that. Let's check his batteries. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at that. That's, that's, a, that's not, people are going to say we're faking this stuff. I know they will. That thing's hot. Yeah, they're hot. Oh, that's negative, so it's good. I don't want to try the other one. Oh, it's not one. There, no, there's only three. I, hey, listen, on a serious note, we're we're not faking this kind of stuff, all right? Today's our first day here. We've never seen this vehicle before. Someone is coming, uh, you know, obviously have been here before us. So so my assumption is it's going to crank. Maybe they were trying to buy it. Maybe they were trying to buy it. They got so disgusted they left the batteries. <laughs> Maybe. We ain't like that, are we? We may know why in a minute. Yeah. Let's get these batteries hooked up. Cover me, I'm going in. Man, you ain't kidding. I did <laughs> Oh, I didn't even look to see if it had a key in it when I was up here the first time. Does it? I'm not seeing it. I don't even see the ignition switch. I think oh. the, the ignition switch is out. Huh. I think the ignition switch will go right here. I don't think it goes up here. <coughs> I think it goes right here by the engine start button. While he's investigating now. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wow. Hot mess, huh? Looks like a kudzu vine back there. Find it? Yeah. Well, we know the batteries are hot. While he's in there doing surgery. I'm gonna tell you what, Hank. That thing right there? Oh yeah, I'll cut it out. Tough. Yeah. If you ever want to talk about broken hinges, my door's always open. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'll see myself out. Stop. 
All right, I got all the briars out of the way for you, buddy. Well, thank you. What did the owner say? That they did get it running on ether, but they never could get it to uh, to run. Yeah, we, we got it cranked before we got it out of the woods. Only way we could crank it was on ether, but it wouldn't run. It had trees and bushes growing up all around it, <laughs> did it? That, that just looks bad. Mm -hmm. I wonder if his bottom one fires the cap. You know? I don't know. Let's see. We got an arc, didn't we? Yeah. Crestology? Crestology. Well, the thing about it, Wiley, is we need it to run so that yeah. the potential price goes up. It's more than scrap. Well, the scrap keeps going up. Nobody's going to be able to compete with them anyway. Yeah, I hear you. So you're going to hook that uh, fuel pump? See if I can get it hot. Yeah. Because this actually, it's got a screw on there you can screw down and make it manual. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. They sure do, don't they? The red Freightliner had that same engine in it. Yeah. Was that a 350? Can't remember. But all Cummins would have that. Oh, okay. Whether it be a 290, 300. Oh, okay. Well, because I, I think it was a Big Cam 300 in that Freightliner, if my memory serves me correctly. I'll link that video right here. You guys go check that out and tell me if I was right or wrong. That just looks like something should be hot. Yeah, did you hear it? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well. You just gonna try to look, loop it on that nut and bolt, that stud? Yeah, but I don't know that I got enough. Even though I'm an Alabama fan, I wouldn't mind having a gator clip. <laughs> This thing's gonna crank, ain't it? Of course it is. Basically, what you're doing is getting a, a, a hot source, right? Yeah. Well, I got a, I got a hot source. I'm about to put this to the starter and see if I can get this thing to bump over. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the All right. answer is yes. This thing's gonna crank. Because if they've been running it off of fuel and they didn't do that right off there, of ether, off of ether, and they didn't get that fuel pump on, yeah, it probably cranked right up. Was it out of gear? Did you make sure it was out of no, gear? No, I didn't. I didn't, there? I didn't make. I'll go check it right quick. It's out. It's out of Georgia overdrive. Okay. <laughs> is this the moment of truth? It, it is. Let huh? me get up here in the kill zone. All right, here we go. I told you. Now we gotta see if it rolls. Well, it's gonna roll. Let me get in this thing. Good job, Hank. Dude, could you not hear that? Thank you. You're welcome. How high you have to jump up here? Well, I expected more out this of this. This is dangerous. You've been asking for time at lunch to go do PT. I figured that you would. That's how we used to do it in the military. Oh. You military guys ever do that? I'm gonna go to lunch in the gym. Take two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. We're gonna have to probably get a little ether in it to get it cranked back up. But it, we won. Yeah, that's right. No, it run, it yeah. run without ether for a long time. Yeah, started without it. Yeah, it's like uh, there's a story in the Bible about Ezekiel and the Valley of Skeleton Bones. <laughs> this is not making fuel. This is not making fuel. <laughs> we got fuel in this tank though. We get it. We'll they get, they've, they've got to be drawing from that. Probably. Right here's air if we want to try to get it just a little bit of ether. Right here, Hank. 10-4. All right, I got the ether there, Wiley. Right. Maybe if I can get through all these cobwebs. Maybe. That's enough. Yeah, I know. Oh I know. Gosh. Oh, I was spraying it. I can't hear There's a lot of... I'm uh, always right here in, in the kill zone. <laughs> I wonder if it run out of fuel all the way on that side. I bet it did, dude. Seriously. Let's put some fuel in it and try that. What's the plan? Let's take that filter off. The fuel filter? Yeah. Fill it up. Can we take the oil filter off? You can, but you can take it off and put it on because you'll get it <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> You're a grown man, Hank. You can do what you want. That's right. That's right. This is a pretty neat trick that we do a lot, too. You guys can incorporate this if you don't already. But on filters, 
If you don't have a filter wrench or something like that available, you can take a, any type of like ratchet strap or belt. Let me see your belt. <laughs> no, my britches would fall off. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, you don't need that. No. We definitely don't need that. And then you just use that. I don't forgot how we did this last time. Oh, it take me just a minute. There you go. Just like that, that's how you did it last time. You put too much pressure on me with that camera. <laughs> no pressure. Looks like it's got fuel in it. Well. <laughs> I think we found the problem. Yeah, it might be, huh? My gosh, we running on water. No, you get it on your hands too, hey, man, pa partner. Shoot. Yeah. Is that water or just? Yeah, no, that's water. Your sniffer's messed up. Oh, is it? Yeah. What did I say it was? I forgot. <laughs> like seven years, eight months, three yeah. weeks, two days? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of water in that. These newfangled gas cans, man. I know it. Oh, look at that fuel. Yeah, I thought I was going to see red. That's nice fuel. I mean, you probably shouldn't have red, but I'm just so used to pouring off-road diesel on my tractors. You sure are shaking holding that five-gallon bucket up and just need even have fun. I know, that's because I'm weak. I got COVID, okay? I can't lift or walk since I've had COVID. Or that taste and smell, I can't remember. <laughs> That's why your sniffers messed up on that fuel, wasn't it? <laughs> you want that strap back? Are you gonna hand tighten it? We should be able to hand tighten it. Damn fool. That's some, some slick them on there. If you'll tap that. Well. <laughs> Normally. There you go. Let that dry. Yeah. There wasn't nothing coming out of that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these stupid safety cans. Man, it's like a screen door on a submarine, man. It's <laughs> yeah. worthless. All right, we had to do some uh, swapping. That's not gas, that's diesel. Let's see if it run on gas, Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer and watch this. Man, that looks factory. <laughs> it blends right in with that patina. It did, the... red and red. Yeah. First start in 15 years. 15 years. <laughs> This thing ain't been driven in 27 years. Oh yeah, Hank, we just got some pictures from the owner too that's going to show what it looked like when they drug it out. From oh, perfect. Yeah. You're, you're not getting me stepping off this thing, Yeah, Hank, I'm so gonna, you're going to run I out I always battery. try to film Wiley when he's getting up and down equipment because I want to see if he falls Remember, or not. Remember, three and, points uh, of contact, three, always. Three points of contact, plus it'll go viral. If you fall, Wiley, it'll go viral. <laughs> hey, if you're interested in purchasing this truck, shoot me an email or shoot Wiley an email. It's hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com or wiley.dec at gmail.com. I'll put that in the uh, description there. You can send us an email. We'll put you in contact with the owner and you can take this thing home with you. <laughs>
just for fun. We also found something else out off camera. We'll tell y'all about it here once we crank this thing up. Wiley, I'm gonna start calling you the engine whisperer. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> You give me too much credit. Oh, Wiley, the engine whisperer. I'm buying you lunch today, Wiley Span. I mean, you're gonna have to order off the kids' menu, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it and get that's water. A, hey, I seen on Facebook the other day said boneless chicken wings is just a uh, chicken tenders for adults. Yeah, that's right. Chicken that's nuggets that, for adults. Chicken nuggets. I thought that was pretty funny. Are you in or out of gear? It's out of gear. What I plan is the way this thing is cranking. You or I can get up there under and hit it, then you just lay it down. Okay. Or I lay it down. Man, this step right here ain't <laughs> for an old man. Yeah, you ain't got no clutch, that's your problem. Yeah, you ready Kimasabi? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy <laughs> that's crazy man let me tell y'all what i found out off camera this thing was parked in 1991 these guys rescued it out of the woods brought it back here got it cranking on ether but couldn't get it running and couldn't get it driving it's pretty cool to see that now we know it needs a clutch <laughs> the old 81 GMC Astro rides again. That was cool as heck, man. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? How about that? Ain't that crazy? It is. <laughs> it really is. Hey, listen. These videos are awesome. So we appreciate your journey. Send us an email if you're looking for parts for this or the engine or this truck. If you had a long enough cord, you could sit right here. And oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless.